how to set up the Samsung Galaxy S25, S25 Plus or the Ultra for the first time. Now before we begin, make sure you have already inserted a SIM card. You can do so by using the SIM ejector tool and insert the SIM card in here. Once you have inserted the SIM card, you can then press and hold on the side button. So press and hold and wait for a couple of seconds. Once you see the logo appear, let's go off the button. Now we wait for the phone to boot up. We now show the Android logo. Okay, on the welcome screen, select your language. So in here, choose the language that you want to use. Here I'll choose English, United States, then tap on OK, then tap on Start. Next, choose the option that you want to agree to and then tap on Agree. And then from here, you can choose to set up and transfer the data over or not. So if you want to transfer the data over from my previous Android device, you can select this option. If you want to transfer the data from an iPhone, you can choose this option or you can set up manually. So I will choose set up manually in this video. And here you need to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So tap on your Wi-Fi network and put in the network password and tap on the connect button. Here I will put in the password and tap on connect. And it's a internet may not be available, so just wait for a few seconds. Then we wait for it to finish setting up the service provider. Here it says your phone needs to restart, so tap on the restart button. Okay, so the phone is now starting up. It is now preparing for mobile connection. Here it says connect to mobile network. So uh, you can choose uh, search for mobile plan. Scan QR code. This is uh, more like a, um, a setting up of eSIM, so we don't need that. So we can choose set later in settings. And here's so getting your phone ready. Here you can choose to copy apps and data. Uh, if you want to choose, uh, if you want to copy apps and data, you can choose next. So this is what happened when you choose next. So here say use another device. Tap on next and then tap on agree and then tap on allow and here you can choose to transfer data over from a Galaxy or Android device or an iPhone or iPad. Now I'm going to go back because uh, at this point I will choose a uh, don't copy. I don't want to transfer any data over at this point. So we just want to quickly set up the device so we can uh, start using it straight away uh, fresh. Here you can sign into your Google account if you don't have one, you can tap on create account button that will allow you to create a new Google account. From there, you can follow the on screen to create a new Google account. If you already have one, just enter in the email address or the phone number. Now put in your email address and then tap on next, then put in the password. Put in the password and then tap on next. Once you have verified your account, choose, I will be using this device, then tap on next. And here we scroll down and then choose yes I'm in or skip. Then tap on I agree. And here's so getting account info. Next you can choose a lock screen uh, security. So you can use face recognition, fingerprint, pattern or pin or you can skip. We choose pin uh, today. And I'll just put in a simple pin. So I choose use anyway. And we'll just put in a test pin or demo and tap on OK. Next, we have Google services. Tap on more, then more, and then accept. Then you can choose to uh, turn on backup or don't backup. And then tap on continue. So say so here, meet Gemini, your personal AI assistant. Press and hold on the side button here to uh, open it. So tap on continue. And here, do you want to turn on? I uh, use Gemini hands free with Hey Google. So I tap on turn on or no thanks. And here, so getting your phone ready. Next, you need to sign to your Samsung account. You can skip if you don't have one right now, or you can create a new one. 
So in this one, uh, uh, in this uh, demo, I will choose uh, forgot password or don't have an account. And then I choose set up login settings. Then here you say, uh, why do you need an account? Yeah, so that you can use some services in here. I will, we can always do that later in settings. So I can choose skip and then uh, select your options and then tap on agree, then tap on more, agree. Then from here, you can choose, uh, choose light mode or dark mode and then tap on next. So there is a lot of things that you need to set up and configure before you can get to your home screen and start using the phone. And then tap on next. And that's it. Now we tap on the home button to go directly to the home screen. So this is how you can quickly uh, set up your device so that you can start using it straight away. Later, when you want to further configure your device, you can swipe down at the top and then tap on the settings icon up here. In here, you can sign to your Samsung account at the top and below that you can configure all the settings. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.